Our tree farm is named Casa Beca del Norte. It's located 60 miles north of Spokane and about five miles north of Chuila in Stevens County. We named it Casa Beca del Norte, Becky's house in the north, when we were living in Albuquerque. We uh, wanted to have a little bit of a Spanish flavor to the name of our house. In 1971, I was stationed at Fairchild Air Force Base in Spokane, and uh, we wanted to go to a foreign country. We were, I was 19 years old and she was 18, and we were young and stupid, and we thought going to Canada was a really big deal. And as we drove north uh, through Chihuahua, we thought, wow, this is a beautiful place. We ought to retire here someday. So we spent the next 20 years uh, working our respective careers, uh, saving all the money we could so that uh, in the early 1990s, uh, we purchased this property. We consulted with some local people, particularly Bob Playfair, who was a, a, a big player in, in what we learned. He was a great mentor to us. And then we got involved with DNR and NRCS and, and the uh, Washington Farm Forestry Association. The miners, uh you know, participated over 16 years with me, probably doing seven to eight projects, covering, you know, five to seven acres each time. You know, Lynn and Becky would both uh, do the projects themselves. That was kind of nice, uh, seeing them do the work rather than have contractors come in and do the work. Uh, we planted 11,000 trees since we got here. It's right at 100 acres. We have mostly ponderosa pine. There's some western larch and quite a bit of Douglas fir, and we have a patch of, of cedar uh, on the northeast corner of the property. The first thing that I noticed when we came to this tree farm, it was really in poor condition. There were lots of trees, but there were no birds. So one of our first objectives as we were prepping the land was to bring in some birds. Glenn and Becky are some of the most amazing nest box builders and managers in the whole state. I've often bragged about knowing Lynn, who said, uh, yeah, I put up some boxes. I said, how many? I think 500 monitored, fixed, built to spec. They've created snags. They've made habitat piles. The miners are a great example of people that have balanced and included wildlife habitat as one of the objectives in the management of this wonderful tree farm. We have a lot of wildlife here. On wildlife cameras, we've captured cougar, uh, bear, and gray wolves. Uh, we have elk, deer, moose, and then smaller animals like uh, coyotes. Uh, we've captured a bobcat on a camera. We've logged over 50 species of, of birds uh, on this property. Everything from bald eagles all the way down to just little tiny hummingbirds. Our favorite time of, of the tree farm is when we're really practicing a legacy for learning. When we have people come to our tree farm and we can teach them, uh, we can have people coming to the tree farm through WSU or through uh, the practice acts where we can share what we've learned and what we've done and impart that knowledge onto them. It's incredibly rewarding to get up early in the morning, have breakfast, get out, work in the woods, uh, pruning, thinning, uh, clearing brush, come in at noon, filthy dirty, take a shower, have lunch, and then go to bed. We don't have any family to give this property to, uh, so what we've done, uh, we've, we've negotiated with Washington State University. We're in the process right now of uh, going through the, the legal aspects of this to donate the entire property uh, in its entirety, all of the house, the house, all of the buildings, uh, everything. The miners intend to gift this property to Washington State University, which we will use for research and education to help become a community benefit and help become a practice of forestry benefit. Uh, what is now the Casa Beca del Norte We'll also add on the name of the WSU Center for Family and Small Scale Forestry. This has been the focus of our entire 54 year marriage. Uh, from the time we were first married, we wanted to do something like this. Uh, we spent 20 years saving money so that we could, and then we spent the last 30 years making it happen. <laughs>